Hi, it's Mrs. Dommel here, and today we're going to be drawing the Clementine Hunter Zinnias. So, I'm just going to draw with a Sharpie so you can see it, but you definitely want to use a pencil so that if you mess up, you can just erase it. So let's go ahead and draw the vase first. We're going to draw a curvy line, like a C, a very long, tall C, and the opposite on the other side to be the sides of the, of the vase. Connect the bottom with a curvy line, and we're going to connect the top with the same curvy line. And we need the bottom of the flower pot, so a curvy line and another curvy line, and let's go ahead and connect those. Nice. So some of her examples have a, a handle on one side and some of them don't. I think even some have two handles. You can make yours however you want, but we're going to draw that backwards letter C and then another tiny little backwards C on the inside that kind of follows that same line. And there you go. There's our vase. Of course, now we need some flowers, some zinnias in the middle. So we're going to start with the outside on this one and just make a bumpy line all the way around in a circle like this and connect it and then the center if you look at the pictures is a little circle so let's add that now her flowers didn't really overlap but if you need to overlap them you can to fit them I'm just gonna draw an odd number of flowers so I'm gonna keep filling up this vase with zinnias and remember, her art was very simple, so we're trying to make ours simple. And I'm going to keep on adding some. Start with the outside. That is my dog scratching his ear. <laughs> if you can hear it. Keep going around. And then draw that little circle in the middle. So now I have three, but it doesn't look full, so I'm going to add some more. Maybe put one over here. In a circle. And four fits nicely, but I like numbers that are odd in art. So I'm going to make another one. Bumpy line all the way around. So far, this is pretty easy. Let's look at her example again. Here you can see the artist filled in a bunch of green in the background, but let me show you another example. Here you can see some stems of the flowers, some little buds of new zinnias that are in the pot, and then some uh, leaves too, a little bit on the right hand side. So you can make yours however you want to make it, but I made some leaves all over and I didn't draw any buds of the flowers. So I'll just let you see how I did mine. I just drew up and down like a leaf. And I'm just going to fill in all those empty spaces. Coming behind just to fill in what we have. So I put it behind the flower. That one goes up to fill in that space. And we want to make it look like it's all connected. There's nothing floating in space. Okay. I'm going to sign the bottom just like Clementine Hunter with my initials. And I'll show you how it turned out after I colored it. Colored the pot and the handle and the leaves and I added some more leaves just wanted to show you that and here it is finished Ta-da! I could probably even color the background if I wanted to that's all thanks for watching